Hello, I'm Meredith Herkes. I'm the convener of the Cathedral Hospitality Team. Unfortunately, we can't do very much of our usual program at present, but we all like cooking, as I guess many of you do too, and are probably doing a bit too much of it at present. But just looking at my recipes made me think about Anzac biscuits and what a tradition they are now for all of us here in Australia and New Zealand. The history of them is a little bit vague, but there's quite a link to Adelaide. Apparently, the word Anzac and biscuit first appeared in Adelaide about the end of 1919, and the final recipe with coconut in it actually didn't come in until it was noted in a recipe book in Adelaide in 1924. So we've continued to make these wonderful biscuits. I certainly learnt to make them at my mother's knee, from a very old, traditional South Australian cookery book, The Green and Gold, which I'm sure many of you will know through your mothers or your grandmothers. But in recent years, about three years I think, a wonderful tradition has begun in the cathedral. This was at the instigation of the Friends, and they took the opportunity of the hordes of people who come into the cathedral after the Anzac March, and they decided to provide tea, coffee and Anzac biscuits for these people. So a very welcoming gesture and often the visitors would stay in the cathedral for a while afterwards, perhaps listening to the brass bands or just having some quiet time. And near, very near to where the friends have set up their table, down the aisle just further on from the narthex, is the Peace Chapel. And there, where the guidons and the flags are, we also have connections with the First World War. One of the guidons actually had the uh, enormous success of capturing a standard of one of the Turkish regiments. And there are two colours or flags also there that belong to the predecessors of two of the light horse regiments to recognise their activities in the First World War, especially at Gallipoli in 1915. Now, as I'm sure the Dean will agree, once something has been a tradition for at least two years, it is there to stay. So now this wonderful tradition that the Friends have started, I know that they will want to continue next year. So we can look forward to that resuming in 2021, but before then I hope we will have an opportunity for all of us to come together so that the friends can entertain you, provide food, and we can have a lovely time to share together.